TD, what do you think the significance of this win is, considering all the players you'd lost coming into the game, coming off a, a road loss that was very similar to this, and in terms of the way the game played out at the end? Um, I think it's very significant. Uh, for us as a team, we needed this victory. Uh, going home one and one, like Zeke said, against a division rival, you know, we got our first home game, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good one. So uh, just coming off the loss, just understanding what was at stake and what we had to do here. And uh, you know, the guys in the situation at hand, <clears throat> we knew if we had other guys that had to step up and that they did, uh, we came out the tours. See, what was at stake? You said knowing what was at stake. Uh, personally, it was just, you know, playing for us, you know, getting back to what we've been doing and how we play football and not really just getting outside of it ourselves, going in and making routine plays. Can you talk a little bit about that series uh, in the first half where uh, you lined up at running back, got a carry, they're back-to-back throws to you and that. Just what was the feeling that was going through your mind when all that, obviously, were a big part of the game went? Uh, very excited. You know, kept hearing my number being called. And, you know, that's just my opportunity. Uh, I looked at it as, you know, opportunity to sh- uh, build trust for Dak and, um, you know, make a play for this team, hopefully he scores. And uh, definitely not satisfied. Wish I would have scored, but, you know, ended up with two. What you happened guys- that play right before halftime? Can you just take us through that one, the one where you pitched back to Zeke? Did you think you had a chance? It was kind of like a draw and a play. At first, uh, I was initially supposed to run underneath and, uh, you know, just get a get the pass from Dak and uh, kind of improvised. He rolled out left and matches, you know, the scramble rules. And uh, at that point, we just playing football. Um, I'm trying to get the ball to the end zone <clears throat> the best way I can and make a couple guys miss. And, you know, I mean, it would, it's something that would have, you know, looked good that we did. <laughs> CD, can you talk about the, um, the huddle and the way guys were on that final drive to, to run out the clock and win this game, especially since <clears throat> First game, Tampa Bay did that to you. Right. Um, just going in, like I said, uh, trusting our preparation, trusting our training. Coaches do a great job of just keeping us prepared for opportunities like this. And uh, two minutes is definitely probably the biggest, you know, biggest part of the game. If you can't tell, you can win or lose them. Um, can't stress it enough. Two minutes is probably the most rep thing that we've done throughout camp um, and leading up to the season. So uh, I felt like we were pretty prepared. The, the huddle was, you know, very relaxed, and you know we had we had guys that doing their job up front, and Dak was just distributing. See, was there ever a time during the week where you kind of thought, what else can go wrong for this team from the Tampa game, <clears throat> losing Leo, losing Demarcus uh, in practice on Wednesday, KZ gets hurt as well, you know, Randy goes on COVID, all these things that happened. Was there ever a part of you like <clears throat> bad thing can happen next? It's kind of tough, you know, when you go through a situation like that, just losing guys consistently, not really understanding what's going on or how things are happening. But at that moment, you just got to stay positive. Oh, God's going to make a smooth transition back, you know, with us. And uh, pray for the ones that's not, you know. Uh, we got each other's back, and the next guy has to step up. You've got to focus on what's going on in the field, but how much do you notice when this many Cowboys fans come to a game in California and they're screaming, let's go Cowboys defense? Yeah, we felt it. Uh, we heard it. And we loved it. Um, Cowboys Nation definitely came out. Felt like a home game. Um, personally, that's how I look at it. And you know, we heard them every time. And every third down, the Chargers had the ball. We heard them even more. And uh, we loved it. You know, great atmosphere. And that's that's football for you. So you've been doing that for a long. You opened your NFL career at the stadium with no fans. How different oh, man. is it? <laughs> the exact same, the exact same stadium. You know, just a big difference uh, with the fans, and uh, they definitely made a big difference. You could feel the, you know, the energy, uh, just on um, the different, the different, you know, levels of the game. And uh, love the fans. CD, this is a team that for a long time needed to score 30 points to win a football game, to be able to win a game 20 to 17, to have your defense play the way that they did today and keep LA under wraps. What does that mean for the big picture potential for this for this team? Uh, <clears throat> we still have fight in us. I feel like defense could be a lot better, uh, and I'm sure they could say the same. And I feel like offensively, we could be a lot better. And uh, just never being satisfied ultimately is the goal. Uh, they definitely did a great job of just holding them guys to 17 points and uh, just consistently getting turnovers. Uh, just told them guys I, in the locker room, I'm proud of them. Honestly, just I love seeing turnovers. Uh, obviously, we get the ball back, but more importantly, they get up the they get off the field, get a breather, have their long drive. So <clears throat> speaks volume on Dan Quinn and Coach Dan Quinn on how he's been, you know, doing 
throughout this whole season. And, you know, CD, CD, you had um, eight of nine. You caught eight of nine balls from Dak, who completed twenty seven of or twenty three or twenty seven passes. Talk about the relationship and how you guys developed that camaraderie so quickly in your career. <clears throat> Just the consistent work that we put in in the off season, both my rookie year and you know this off season that just passed, uh, losing them all last year was tough. Uh, but now, and now that we have them, we're just trying to get back in the road, uh, make routine plays, and whenever that big play comes, be excited for. It. Cedric stepped in last one, guys. You seem to fill in well. I was just curious what your impressions are of Sed when he gets an opportunity, how he embraces it. Man, I'm happy for Sed. Uh, he definitely went out there. He made the plays that he needed to. Um, he came through for us when we needed him. Uh, very dependable person. And, uh, you know, that's my guy in the receiving room. I'm, I'm very confident in anyone, like I said, to step up. And that he did. Uh, he looked great out there. What, what's it like to have Dak in that situation, the last drive of the game? <clears throat> You're looking at him. You, you, what's the feeling you guys have with him out there? Comfortable, uh, to say the least. Very comfortable. You got your starting quarterback out there leading the charge on a two-minute drive to win the game. Uh, I don't think it get any better than that.